Hey guys, so today I'm going to start packing and getting everything ready for my move coming in about two weeks. So what I'm going to do is share with you what is in my vanity and go through everything, start packing things up. Okay, so this is my palette drawer or eyeshadow drawer and I have a lot of big palettes in here. I plan on decluttering none of them, but I'll share with you what I have in here. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I really love this palette. This palette has had a lot of like controversy with it, but it's so pretty nice. Lots of neutrals in here. Then you have the random pops of color in this little corner, but for every day, all those neutrals are perfect, and I do use these on occasion. So, love that. And I have the Emily Edit, the Once palette from Makeup Revolution. I've used this maybe once, not too often lately. I haven't really done a full look with it yet. Um, hopefully I can more in the next house, but this is what that palette looks like. So pretty as well. Love the purples and the greens in here. Then I have the Too Faced The Chocolate Shop palette, Christmas in New York. Love this powder. It has cocoa scented or it's cocoa scented. Really like it. I've been actually using this quite a bit lately and for November, December, I'll be using it a lot more. I'm trying to hit pan in the shade Butterscotch right here. You can see I have some progress, not a lot, but I do really love this palette and have been reaching more for the face products, Dessert on Me, Glaze. It's just a really nice palette. I've definitely started to enjoy this more. Let's try and get more of the bigger palettes. have my Z palette right here. This has a bunch of just random eyeshadows, some blushes, bronzers, things like that. So going to continue to work on these and just continue to figure out what it is that I like and don't like. I have the Tarte High Performance Palette. I believe this was a Bon Voyage, Voyage Palette. Um, honestly, guys, I think I'm going to declutter this. I don't reach for it that often. A lot of darker shades, so... I'm going to pass that on. I have the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival. Such a fun, pretty palette. Love this. Perfect for date nights, going out with girlfriends, just having a good time. Love all the colors. Definitely keeping this. And the pigmentation is beautiful in this palette. Then I have the Shade and Light Eye Palette from Kat Von D. I really don't reach for this at all, so I'm probably going to pass this on. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that, but... Yeah, I'm going to pass this on. I don't reach for it. Just too basic of a palette for me. I have the Anastasia Self-Made Palette. One of my favorite palettes. Probably my favorite one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So pretty. I love the shimmers. Really nice pops of color. Great palette. Close this baggie up. I can't believe I just decluttered two palettes. I was not planning on decluttering anything. I have so many eyeshadows, there's no way I can use it all. Okay, I have the Too Faced, the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Smells so good. I've had a lot of great use out of this palette, so I'll definitely bring it with me. Urban Decay and Naked 3 Palette. I was thinking of panning this for, for next year, but really, I'm not drawn toward these shades. I'm thinking of passing this along as well. It's just older in my collection. Don't reach for it that often. I'm going to pass that on. Anastasia Subculture. This is actually a really fun palette. I've had a great time using it, so I'm going to keep using it. I love the like green shades in here. I love the all-star shade. They're just fun different shades in my collection. Definitely going to keep using it. Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons. Such great memories. We got this right before our first Asheville trip, me and my husband, and I used it a lot then, so still going to keep using it. I love this palette. I have the Needs palette from the Emily Edit. I haven't reached for this yet, but hopefully we'll do so more. Like I said, those are newer palettes in my collection. Modern Renaissance from Anastasia. Got it for Christmas this past year. I haven't touched it too much, but when I did, I really loved the looks that I have out of it. So gonna keep this. The Balm Nude Tude. Just don't reach for this at all. So I'm gonna declutter this baby. It's not calling my name. We got it from Kohl's, from Kohl's Cash, and Someone, my mom's sister, someone will enjoy this over me. Then I have the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. We got this before we went to Disney World. So another fun, colorful palette. Definitely keeping. I have the NYX Happy Birthday Palette. And I haven't touched it, but I don't think I will. So let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass this on. 
I have the Marc Jacobs eyeshadow in Scandalust. So pretty. I really like the formula of these, so definitely keeping this. And then I have all these little Too Faced from Christmas Past, like Village set. I have the black one, which is so pretty. Probably one of my favorites. Keeping that. I've already hit Pan and Parfait. The pink one. So pretty as well. I've taken this on vacation and really enjoyed that. Blue one. to me. I think I'm going to pass this one on. Keep going in here. The Too Faced Gingerbread Cookie. Um, I'm going to pass this one on as well. Still has a little scent of gingerbread, but I'm going to pass that on. I have so many other browns in my collection. The Eggnog Latte. I'll keep this one. Then we have full size of the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Rose Gold. I've used so many deluxe size samples of this up. Really like it, so I'm going to use this. I got it in an influencer box. My Kat Von D Alchemist palette. So nice. Love this. It's fun to transform your eyeshadows, lip colors, everything like that. So fun. I have a Kat Von D eyeshadow in Paranoid. Don't reach for it too often, but this is so pigment and blue. It's definitely fun to play with. I have an e.l.f. This is a, I believe it's a shimmering glitter eyeshadow in a brushed copper. Um, I'm going to pass that on. Uh, Milani Bella Copper Eyeshadow. Keep that. I have a NYX eyeshadow in Blue Marine. going to keep that. Just a nice deep blue shade. Let's get all these little things out. I always like say these like I'm going to use them and I really don't. So yeah, I'm going to just trash this. I'll probably put this in the Kat Von D one. I really haven't touched that palette. So hopefully someone will want that. Kat Von D Locket Brightening Powder Petal. I really like putting this underneath my eyes to set my concealer. Clinique Heather Pop Blush. So pretty. Then I have my Anastasia, uh, what is this, pencil sharpener, which I don't even use pencils that often anymore. So I really should just get rid of this. This is so old. And if I do get it again, which I probably won't. Yeah, probably not. So I'm going to declutter this. Uh, the Stila Diamond Dust Liquid Eyeshadow, Glitter Eyeshadow, love that. This is an e.l.f. A twinkling Taupe. Um... Liquid eyeshadow. It looks really pretty. And keep that. This is the Stila Sunset Cove. You can tell I've used this quite a bit. Love this one. Keeping. Back up of my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Favorite foundation. Have a Smashbox Duo right here in Turned On and Psyched. I'm going to pass this on and just don't reach for this little guy. I have some more of those little magnetic stuff. This is a NARS. What were these? Well, I was obsessed with these dual intensity eyeshadows. This is Cassiopeia. I was re looking for this so hardcore at every single Sephora near me and finally got it. Love this shade. Totally keeping. Also have another one of those in Europa. Really pretty pinky shade. These were like the duo chrome or whatever, whatever, duo intensity. Um, before the Kat Von D Alchemist. So these are my like go-to loves before I found that palette. Then I have Laura Mercier Eye Basic in Wheat. Um, I think I'm going to pass this on. Don't think it's something that I'm going to reach for. So I'll pass that on. Urban Decay Diamond Dog Eyeshadow. My husband surprised me with this in my stocking one year. So I'm going to keep that. The NYX Eyeshadow in Mermaid. It's such a pretty shade. Oh my gosh. Stickers are annoying, but yes, yeah, a really fun, like minty, sparkly shade. Love that. My little thingy for depotting. I'm gonna pass this on to this the Elf highlighter and concealer. Just wasn't a fan of that as well, so I'm gonna pass that on. This is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream Neutral. Keep that. Pass this on. This is the Sephora Crayon Contour Waterproof. 
like a little slate color, so I'm gonna pass that on. Essence Make Me Brow Gel Mascara. Love that for my brows. This is the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow. Such a fun color and shade. So I'm gonna keep that. Not as good as the Stila one though, by the way. Then I have a cream concealer from All Natural. This is Flax. I'm gonna probably just throw this away. This is a more natural product. I haven't really reached for it. I'm gonna just throw that away. Smashbox Photo Finish Under Eye Hydrating Con Eye Primer. I use this for underneath my eyes before my concealer. I really love this stuff. Smashbox. This is a tr trio from the Screenshot Nectar Cinnamon Toast and Roast, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna pass this on. I have so many neutrals and those are so tiny. Then I have from Han, this is an all-natural eyeshadow in Sunset. Keeping this, which is like these mini, We I needed a tweezer and I got all these like mini tweezers from Sephora keeping them, but I need to probably put one of them in my diaper bag. Always need one of these in your vanity because it's perfect to tighten your stools. I have a little um, perfume, this is the Atelier Cologne. The Clementine California. I love this scent. I tried it out first from a sample Sunday or hashtag 365 days of samples. And I love this scent and I like that it comes in a spray. It's probably a 100 point part. Then I have a everyday um, loose mineral eyeshadow. I'm going to pass this on. I have another um, whatever these are called. What are these called? Oh, that's why I need them for my jumbo lip pencils. Do even have any more of those? I don't know. We'll get to that soon. Probably not right now, but I'm going to throw this away. It's really old looking. Then I have the Stila Glitter in Smoky Storm. Really love Stila Glitters. And then another one of those little crank things. 